Using AI to Animate Your Own Characters, A Journey into Six AI Models. Who We Are Hilary Price is the creator of the daily syndicated comic strip Rhymes with Orange. That's me. Sean Campbell is a 2D animation major at Rochester Institute of Technology. In the summer of 2025, Sean joined Hillary as a summer intern. The challenge? There's a lot of AI video being created just from word prompts. But what if you want to animate the characters you created yourself? Here are two characters from the illustrated middle grade novel I'm working on. I asked Sean to use AI video genera generators to animate them swinging around a tree. What AI video tools are out there? Out of the pool of generative video AI models, we picked six that were most relevant to our research. Google's Veo, Luma, Juan, ChatGPT Sora, Runway ML, and Midjourney. The results surprised us. We started with Google's Veo with this image and prompt. An inchworm swinging from its silk and an ant on its back, holding on like Tarzan. The style of the characters is cartoony like you'd see in a comic book. Veo always gives back two videos. This was the better result. We decided to get ambitious. We were curious to see how the AI could handle an animation that's more dynamic, with more dimensions. First, Sean redrew the characters to get a feel for them himself. Creating this style sheet helped him to understand how they function. This helped later on when it came time to pointing out the mistakes AI made. Every AI model asked for a beginning and ending frame, so Sean drew these. A prompt, a caterpillar swinging around a tree using its silk as a rope. An ant is holding onto its back like Tarzan. As the inchworm swings around the tree, it lands on a bundle of leaves sticking out and poses triumphantly. This is Veo's first result. One thing we noticed about Veo and other AI models is that they have a strange problem of making the characters talk a lot. Even when we told them to keep their mouths closed, they wouldn't be quiet. Here's Veo's second result. After Veo, we decided to try our luck with other AI models. Luma. Luma is the only AI generator that lets you work off the video generations you've made. With the others, every time you change the prompt, the video generation starts from scratch. This time, we asked for an anim animation of the characters waving to the camera and gave it just one image. Original prompt. A tall green inchworm is standing upright on a pair of leaves. Holding onto its back is a small ant whose head is poking out and is visible to the viewer. In a short animation, the, anchworm, the, the inchworm and the ant wave at the camera while smiling. Luma Revision 1. We wanted the eyelashes and talking gone, but Luma stood firm. Here was our revised prompt. Remove the eyelashes on the side of the inchworm's eyes. Make the frame rate smoother. Make the ant's face more consistent and less expressive, just smiling with the occasional blink. The two characters make a slow wave with their arms before the arms return at their side. Revision number 2. Things got weird. Here was our revised second prompt. Remove the eyelashes on the side of the inchworm's eyes. Make the frame rate smoother. Make the ant's face more consistent and less expressive, just smiling with the occasional blink. The two characters make a slow wave with their arms before the arms return down at their side. Ah! Juan was next. It can revise your prompt with AI. We went back to the basic swinging prompt we tried with Veo. Original prompt. An inchworm and an ant are swinging from a rope of silk attached to the inchworm's rear. Backgrounds transition across a screen from right to left as they swing forward. First a forest, then a lake, and lastly a swamplands area. Here is Juan's AI revised prompt. 
A green inchworm displaying a surprised expression transverses a slender thread of silk, carrying a petite purple ant on its back. They are smiling, but their mouths stay shut. They do not talk or open their mouths at all. Their whimsical journey unfolds against a lush forest backdrop, evoking a sense of simplicity and childhood delight. As they pendulum-like swing, the setting evolves, showcasing a lush forest and then a boggy swamp, all passing by in a captivating right-to-left panorama. This charming scene is meticulously crafted in a 2D animation style, highlighting the meticulous attention to detail in each frame. So this was Juan. Ready? <laughs> Juan took hours instead of minutes to generate a result. Then we tried ChatGPT's Sora and Runway ML using the same swinging prompt. While these AI models are proficient at making images from content they've scraped from the internet, their image to video tools aren't up to speed. From an article in eWeek, we learned about MidJourney. We gave MidJourney the beginning and ending images we gave Veo. It generates four results per prompt. Here's the first. A frame-by-frame -frame animation of an inchworm swinging around a tree using silk as a rope. An ant is holding onto its back and is visible from behind. They swing around the trunk of a tree and land on a small branch of leaves where they pose triumphantly while standing up straight. Here's Midjourney version 2. And now Midjourney version 3. See how it kind of surfs a little bit on the silk? This was true in Midjourney 4 as well. We liked Midjourney best, but we wondered if we could improve the swinging motion. Would Midjourney understand if we use the metaphor of Spider-Man swinging in our prompt? Yes, AI understands Spider-Man. Here was our prompt. A frame-by-frame -frame animation of an inchworm swinging around a tree using silk as a rope. An ant holding onto its back is visible from behind. As they swing, the inchworm holds onto the rope like Spider-Man. They swing around the trunk of a tree, first going to the left of the screen, before getting closer to the camera and landing on a small branch of leaves, where they pose triumphantly and stand up straight. The characters do not open their mouths or talk at all. Oh well. Midjourney was good, but it could be better. Sean plugged the best output into Adobe Animate and revised the rough spots frame by frame erasing the silk rope and removing the mouth movements and distorted faces. The final mid-journey Sean Campbell, Hillary Price result. Here are some reflections on what we learned. Sean, when I started, I was more against the usage of AI. After playing around with it, I see a lot of the potential it has to ease the workload in the animation industry. I'm still on the side of human artists, but I think in the future we could see a version of AI that isn't so intrusive on human creativity. Hillary, AI helped bring my characters to life and that was delightful to see. But even though I created the characters, the swinging emotion itself was quote, learned by AI, meaning it was stolen from an animator. Will AI help young animators like Sean or will AI replace him? Collaborating with Sean and learning together was a rich human experience I can't replicate. So I want to thank you guys for joining us on our journey. You can find Hillary at rhymeswithorange.com and you can find Sean at sean.cam11 on Instagram. Thanks so much.